Hello, welcome back to our Hello. playthrough of When the Night Comes, a dating sim by Lunaris Games. And we forgot to do this in the first video. For the first video's description, despite it being uploaded on the day that we're recording this one, happy quarantine, y'all. We all know what's here. <laughs> we're but we are in <laughs> Happy we quarantine. Happy um, quarantine. But what I want to remember to do, and hopefully saying this will help me remember to do it, is to put the link to the itch.io page where you can download this game in oh, the yeah. description. It is five dollars to da to download, which is a very good price for what you're getting. Um, so yeah, like please buy this game. I love this game. I need more people to talk about it with because there aren't <laughs> nearly enough people like creating content for it on the internet, and that's what I need right now. Okay, please do awesome. it for Robin. Please do it for me. Robin also, needs this. <laughs> I do. I do need this. But also, um, for reference, we put it in the description of the last video, but I'll go ahead and say it now. My pronouns are they, them, and Sarah's are she, her. Yeah. So keep that in mind if you comment or anything. So with that being said, let me find our... This is where we are. Yay! Okay. We just got done with that long conversation. We did, and would you like to do voices this time? Would no. we like to try to do... Well, <laughs> I want to try to do a British accent okay, well, very badly. You can do voices. So I will do that for you. Do you want me to do narration or you can do voices? Oh, of course. Like, the, you have to do the narration and okay. Sarah, because that's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm giggling. You have to voice yourself. I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I refuse. I closed the door behind me, leaving August and Harry with their discussion. I feel a bit overwhelmed. Review. They were talking about... Um, the murders and stuff and we were like asking for details and it was really long and they said that we need to go visit the ibeck to talk to the uh, woodridge twins yeah and they also wouldn't give us all their information because no. they were like well we don't want to they're like we uh, don't want to taint what you think and we're like i don't it's know like that's not how detective work me. works how, this is how any of this works <laughs> it's not how this works the fantasy cops might be really bad at their job i'm just they throwing might it out be. there they like, might we don't be. have proof but it's like feeling like it i feel it i feel it inside I mean, I feel a bit overwhelmed, but ready. <laughs> ready to finally start my investigation, to hopefully end all of this chaos. To date an anime boy. I take a deep breath and straighten my clothes. Not, what about your wife? Is she not I mean, running she's, anymore? she's there too. She's just outnumbered. Is August in the running? August is in the running. Okay, that's true. Feeling ruffled from both what, from both that initial heated encounter and the briefest, brief but informative conversation with the Lieutenant General. As I turn to leave, I spot Piper leaning against the wall. She looks stoic, her gaze fixed on the floor, but she perks up when she spots me approaching. Yay! We got I love another art. pick. We got another picture. Got another CG. Here, here's your voice acting opportunity. Oh, you want me to do this one? Well, you do all of them. I, you want me to do all of them this time? Okay, great. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to come up with voices for everyone. Oi, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I can call you that, can't I? She, she makes a quiet, frustrated noise and closes her eyes. She shakes her head, exhaling sharply before she meets my gaze. Quick pause. Listen. Um, nope, I sorry, majored in theater, so I need you to be like, I need y'all to recognize that these accents are going to be bad and it's going to be fun. And I have no excuse because I majored in theater. Okay. Now I, I was going to say, when did that part come in? Did y'all not do like voice lessons, like accent uh, lessons? No, I haven't had to do an accent since high school. Really? That's so yeah, funny. Yeah, I had to do cognitive. The theater majors in my school, like they... Okay, brief story time. I went to like a play and then I got to sit at the talk back afterwards and they had like a linguist like on deck teaching them how to do British accents. It like, was interesting. I, was, I never did one of the shows where they had, they had to have accents. There were okay. a couple shows like that. Um, but I was mostly just cast in like the high school shows uh, mm. and musicals where they don't care about accents as much usually. Um, but yeah, no, in high school I had, I was literally always cast as the one who had to do the accents. Like in high school I did... Um, Ing I did Cockney, then um, French, Spanish, like Spain, like a uh, Spain Spanish accent. There's there's a word for it, and I don't remember what it is. And then um, the last one I had to learn was uh, transatlantic. Ah, fun. And so I used to be really good at accents, and I've lost all of that. And I and still, still don't, don't know, know how, how to turn my you. messages on Do Not Disturb. And I will never learn. I will we were supposed change. to Google it. <laughs> I was supposed to Google it and I didn't do that, but it's too late now. Okay. It's too late okay. now. All right. I'm going to make her copy instead. Okay. Listen, I'm sorry you had to witness that exchange. I couldn't bring myself to leave without apologizing for my behavior both today and in the tavern the other day. Quit acting like you're going to laugh. <laughs> what? 
You sound like you're gonna laugh. Oh yeah, because I'm smiling. <laughs> it's been a rough few weeks. Now it's turning Australia. That's just where we are now. <laughs> just make a. Nobody knows or cares. Just do a voice. <laughs> It's been a rough few weeks, and I often let my passion overrule any rational thoughts that I promise I'm capable of having. I believe she's capable of thoughts. It's unbecoming of me. I'm taken aback by the vulnerability of her words, her stance. This isn't the Piper I thought I'd have to become accustomed to. Piper, it... She raises her hand to halt my words, calloused fingers curling into a fist. Please, Sarah, just let me apologize, all right? Then we can pretend I never acted like a complete asshole, and you can go and do your job. Well then. So. She sticks out her hands, daggers clanging noisily where they rest in her in the holster at her back. The name's Piper name Merriman. Oh, <laughs> she rolls her eyes, taking a deep breath before her next sentence. Major Piper Merriman. She throws me a wicked grin, and I can't help but laugh at her playfulness. Time to flirt. I eagerly take flirt. her hand. Time to flirt. T okay. I eagerly take her hand in my own and shake it firmly. My touch lingering a little longer than necessary as I cling to her warmth. It's been like not even six minutes in fiction since I last flirted with somebody, and yeah, I just no, want to acknowledge that you can just like, you can just go ham. We are out here, like we are out here, and we are flirty. Okay, yeah, we really are. It's a pleasure, Hunter Merriman. I trust I'll be seeing you around, or I hope. A smirk hooks the corner of her mouth, our fingers brushing as they slowly part, and there's something curious shining in that striking sapphire gaze. Well, the town is terribly small. It would be quite hard to avoid me. I shrug, nonchalant. I could think of far worse things than bumping into you. Woo! <laughs> she narrows her eyes, shoving me playfully, the most subtle flash of color creeping across freckled cheeks. Oh, I don't know. I can be pretty scary, if you ask nicely. <laughs> okay, <Piper. laughs> Nicely, you say? She purses plum-colored lips, those endless pools of sapphires sweeping over me like a, I, like a caress. I know this is like fantasy Victorian, Victorian English-ish, but I want to say, like, where the hell did she get that lipstick? One, it's good as fuck, but where the hell did um, you get that lipstick? When? I don't know anything about the invention of lipstick or the timeline for Oh that. my god. Like, I know it's been around I a while. I should know something about the invention of lipstick, you, but you're I normally don't. normally my history, like, if I need to know something about history. I like, don't know. I feel like know, it's like, probably some sort of, like, plant dye. Like a probably. like an actual plum or something that she ground up. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, I'll look into it effort. for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe there's somebody who does it, and then they sell, like, lip paste Oh, that would make sense. That would yeah. make sense. The lip paste vendor. <laughs> yep. Anyway. The caress. Well, well. I think we're going to get along swimmingly, Sarah. Yes, ma'am. She's quite an enigma, and I can feel my skin prickling under her heavy gaze. It's certainly not an unwelcome feeling. She snorts a laugh. The sound wholly inelegant, but charming nonetheless. Aww. What's so funny? She narrows her gaze, shifting from one foot to the other as if she has excess energy to dispel. Oh, nothing much. Just didn't expect you to be quite so... interesting, I suppose. I feign offense, and her answering laugh is magical. I'll just have to prove myself then, won't I? Thought you will. Now. With a hefty sigh, Piper glances at the clock before turning back to me with a roll of her eyes. Ugh, oh, I'd better get going. I have an inevitably worthless mission to get on with. People in this town are adept at making common house mistaking common house cats for ghastly creatures. Must be something in the water. <laughs> I should go too. Yes, of course. Now off you go. Save Lunaris and all that. See you around, Sara. Bye! She turns on her heel and heads for the exit, pulling her chestnut hair up into a messy bun as she goes. I gather my wits. That really checking... should have been my August voice. 
no, I that was that would have made a good August voice. You you brainstorm what your August voice is. I will be. brainstorm for August. I might end up having to exchange pipers in August. Like if if you're watching this, hoping for continuity, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> like I really hope that's not what's appealing to you about this. Uh, also, once again, makers of this game, if you are watching this, I'm so sorry don't. about the accents. <laughs> if you're watching, if you're watching this, this don't. don't turn it off. <laughs> turn Go it off. talk to your loved ones. Go pet a dog. Talk to don't, your loved ones. Don't um, do this to yourself. Yep. <sighs> I gather my wits, checking my supplies and weapons, adjusting my armor. It's time to begin. Yay! It's a strangely beautiful day, Lenaris, regardless of the biting cold. The sky is clear, the cobbled streets abuzz with smiling faces, people strolling to the market with empty baskets and full pockets. There's certainly a different vibe to the last time I walked this street. No panic, no haste. But the brooms are still there. But the brooms are still there. The brooms are still As I draw nearer to the center of town, I see that imposing white building. Building. S building. Building. Scar <laughs> Scarlet flags sway in the wind. We're from the south, you must forgive us. Building. Scarlet flags sway in the wind, but the closer I look, I see that they're tattered and dirtied. The twins may be human, but the way my stomach drops and twists as I approach the weathered wooden door tells me I may be a little shocked by what I find. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, 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 yes. I push open the heavy doors, and the sight that I met with snatches the breath from my lungs. The abandoned church is huge. Its domed ceiling was seemingly once decorated with an intricate painting, but the layers have cracked and peeled over time, and nothing more than the remnants of what looks like a starry night sky remain. So, yeah, calling it now, it really is uh, Van Gogh's starry night. I really hope it was Van Gogh who did Starry Night, or else I'm going to feel real dumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when but, you're on the spot, like, <laughs> things like that happen. No, I don't remember anything ever, much less when I'm on the spot. Um, but yeah, that's what's on the ceiling. I'm calling it. You're calling it? I'm calling it. It, it It's never going to come up. It's never going to matter, but I'm calling it. Okay. I believe you. I believe in everything you say. <laughs> you have to believe whatever I say because I've played the game, but I'm going to yeah. say stuff that has nothing to do with the actual game. That's fine. Like, it's irrelevant. And I'll be like, so well, they would know. Like, yeah, yeah, I could just tell you anything. Yeah, you could. There's robots in the end. There That's are what the robots ending is. in the end. Like, an, end an army of the robots. The murderer descend. is an army of robots. Yeah, they descend from the sky oh, and kill literally you heard it everyone. Here first. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Robots are the murderer. Oh, my poster fell. <laughs> Which poster? Okay, the one in my living room. I think I've put it up since you were here last, so you probably haven't seen it, but. It fell. Well, what is it? I want to know what it is. It's like a pretty lady. <laughs> it's like a, it's a woman in a pink like ball gown, and it it's fell. Not, it's not one you got from the con. No, it's not from the con. Oh, gotcha. Okay. The furniture is caked with a thick layer of dust, and the pews are in disarray, covered with strange etchings that look like they've been carved into the cheap wood with a blunt nail. There's a lot to take in, but I'm not here to scour this ruin for evidence. I'm here to talk to its inhabitants. The dread that's now firmly seated in the pit of my stomach churns violently, but it's something uh, uh, bleh, old, something that lingers. Yes. I anticipate that I might find a lot more than I bargained for if I truly desired, but I need to focus. I need to find the Woodridge twins. I'm like very excited. As if by Read magic. The twins? Yeah, I'm just, I just, I'm excited by plot. <laughs> As if by magic, <laughs> two pairs of startlingly bright blue eyes emerge from the shadows near the destroyed pulpit. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. You cannot date them. I know. You already told me that. I think, but the 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 they, they I dig this aesthetic. Oh the, no, the aesthetic is amazing. I love this aesthetic. They go to the same lip paste vendor as Piper does. Yes, <laughs> over of course. here on the right. I love the aesthetic. Love the clean suit. Love everything I'm seeing. Hello, Hunter. I wonder if they live you were in, doing like, a really run down. Yeah, they place, live here. They but look like that. they look like they bathe regularly. So there's a little they, bit of a juxtaposition. Yeah. They look like they bathe regularly, and they look like they have like a washing machine, like a regular modern I, washing. I, machine. They probably do not have a modern washing machine, but I imagine that you can like use magic and a hair straightener. Maybe her hair just look like that. And conditioner. They both they have great hair. They probably have conditioner. They have great hair. The Woodridge twins do have great hair. Okay. Um. This is the. I'm pretty sure this is. The woman talking. Okay. Um, Hello, Hunter. We were expecting you. I like that. Nice. It sounds a little bit haunted, but not too haunted. <laughs> You're welcome, and thank you. 
I meant to say thank you, but that's not what came out of my mouth. Welcome like, and thank you. I literally forgot what words were supposed to go. <laughs> In what order? <laughs> to, say, to say they're unusual would be an understatement, and they're not at all what I expected. I was not expecting this either. I don't know why I was expecting, like, kids. I don't know. Well, I guess because they're twins, usually, like, adult twins. In my mind, I'm thinking, like, creepy tw- like creepy kid twins. I don't know. I offer her a small, friendly smile, however forced it No, these it are que- creepy, twin, creepy twin adults. Yeah. Which is new, I think, for most Word series. travels fast here, doesn't it? I'm Hunter Robin, and you are? She narrows her eyes at me, suspicious for the briefest of moments before she's smiling, unquestionably friendly. Why is everybody, it's like, ooh, beware them, except for that they're unquestionably friendly. Like, everybody, it's been like... Oh no, a vampire. Oh no, a dog boy. Oh, well, they're actually really friendly. I don't know. Everybody's really friendly. Despite her best effort, it's still not <laughs> I don't see how there could be any murders here. Everyone's so friendly. But like, like the There's character's no literally like, every single time the, the, the character meets somebody, she's like, I should be afraid, but I'm getting a vibe that is like, friendly. So I'm good. And it, 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 I don't know. It seems too trusting. Despite her best effort, it's still unnerving. I'm Aurora, and this is my dear brother, Amaros. Amaros. I hope I'm saying that right. Amaros. Aurora and Amaros. Amaros. Amaros? Amaros. Okay. Albatross. Albatross. It's a pleasure <laughs> to make your acquaintance, Hunter Robin. They nodded in sync. I nod politely, not quite sure which of them I should be focusing my attention on. Probably the one who's speaking. Amaros doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah. Uh, Amaros doesn't appear to enjoy talking, or maybe he's simply not permitted to. Oh, that wouldn't be the first thing I jump to, but okay. He's well, overbearing. The hunter, hunter, you is a little bit more insightful, I think. Hunter, me. I think that's a thing that they mentioned. Like hunters, like have that like like insight deeply thing. insightful. Yeah. I mean, I think August was talking about it in the last. Maybe episode. so. I don't know. I just wouldn't have been like, oh, he's not talking because he's not allowed to. I would have been like, he seems shy. I don't know. His overmarrying sister is clearly the leader of the two. Bye. Oh man, I do want to dress Arboros. I think I want to dress Arboros. I it. want to dress Arboros. Arboros seems uneasy, far less abrasive than his sister, and as I turn my attention to him, his eyes widen almost comically. He resembles a startled forest animal. See, I'm just getting shy from this person. Arboros, can you tell me a little about the church? About what you do here? His mouth twists into a dissatisfied snarl, but as he begins to speak, I... Sorry, I did your line. <laughs> That's fine, you, you can have him. Aurora swiftly interrupts him. For this episode. Let your the, the, handsome the brother talk. He doesn't say anything else for the rest of the episode, I don't think. Aurora, we haven't even offered our visitor a drink. Such a terrible first impression we must have given you, Hunter Robin. <laughs> Amaro sighs loudly, giving up without a fight. He's like, oh, thank God I don't have to talk. I'm fine, thank you. I'd really just like to ask you a few things so I can be on my way. Bye. Uh... Is the church the Ibeck? <laughs> yes, the church is the Ibeck. Uh... <laughs> I clear my throat, trying my hardest not to be distracted by their unnatural stillness. Just like in Twilight. Can you explain to me what you do I, and yeah, why? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. You remember uh, the scene in Twilight in the books? Do you remember what, that scene in Twilight? Which what what scene in Twilight? The scene in Twilight. It's in the books because I I didn't actually watch all the movies, but it's in the books. You're maybe the most valid among us. Where Bella is like chilling at the Cullens' house. I think it's like I don't remember what it is, but she's like chilling and she's like, these people aren't moving. These people are straight up not moving. They're not blinking. They're not like moving their hair, not breathing. Like, they're straight up not moving. Like, there's, like, a few paragraphs dedicated to it. I remember. Oh, I don't remember. I think I blocked it out. I was, like, 12. Yeah, me too, but I remember Your memory's a lot better than me. You're also a literature major. That's true. Anyway, can you explain to me what you do and why? No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. No, fuck off. Fuck her off. <laughs> <laughs> they share a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and Amaros nods once under his sister's ice-cold gaze. Our purpose is simple. We spread the word of the night of those that are oppressed and murdered in cold blood. Okay. And who exactly are the oppressed, Miss Woodridge? 
she giggles to sound musical but edging on manic okay me too about me yeah the creatures of course by creatures uh, i guess i'll find out i look at amaros and he drops his gaze color sweeping across pale cheeks is my answer not satisfying hunter robin surely you know that the institution that you serve brings harm to innocence when she says creatures, does she mean like werewolves, or does she mean yeah, like, like creatures of the night, like vampires? Okay, so uh, like lichens. sentient things. Okay, uh, yeah, they're all sapient. That the creatures that you kill are nothing more than confused, lost, looking for salvation. She got a point. I gotta be honest with you. She got a point. I pause, carefully contemplating my response. My adult life has consisted of seeing creatures trying to mindlessly murder innocent people, trying to kill me as I protect them. I see no desire for salvation in that. I appreciate that there are creatures who don't intend to harm every anyone, even some that are kinder than most humans. But... But? but oh, I smile again, take a deep breath. But I cannot bring myself to understand how you can so blindly support the slaughter of your own people. Amaros frowns deeply, and I swear I see him shaking his head at me, but it's just subtle enough for his sister not to notice. <laughs> He's in the back pulling that, the, remember the, I think it's like the Oscars meme? The dude is like, uh, like cutting at his throat going like, no, no. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about? Yeah. Like, no, 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 that's what Amaros like, no, no, is doing no, no, in the no. background. He's like, mm -mm, we're not doing that today. <laughs> because humans are inferior and pathetic. Okay. <laughs> We infest and corrupt the Earth by dedicating our time and resources to ridding it of the only things that give our wretched species any hope. Okay. She inhales sharply, calming herself and brushing her hands over you the okay? front of her skirt. Are you okay, huh? Laura? I'm just like, if I were in, I'm saying what I would say if I were in this real conversation, which is, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and <then I> would, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, Hunter Robin, to answer your question, we are here to protect the creatures, just as you are here to destroy them. I'm not here to destroy innocent things. Be nice to me. Nice to Bye. <laughs> You're like, okay, so we're gonna, like, drastically change the subject now. <laughs> like, anyway. Anyway, sure let's talk about some murder. I'm sure you're very aware of the recent murders in the area. Can you tell me anything that may be of use to my investigation? Do I... Do I know if the, all the victims were human? Has that occurred um, to us yet? No, we know that the majority of the victors are hun victims are hunters. Okay, and I, I'm assuming only humans can be hunters, considering oh. the conversation I just had. Yes. Um, the only, For whatever reason, all the hunters that we know of are human. Cool. Aurora steals her gaze, unblinking, fingers clasped tightly and in front of her. Yeah, because, yes. like, the invention of the hunters was to be able to combat the creatures of the night. Mm. Do you want to play some Armoros? <laughs> oh, I thought you were playing Armoros. Oh, I can play Armoros. Because you did, you, did, you did speak for Armoros. I accidentally said I. We saw nothing, and we have an alibi. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> yeah, I got. I appreciate it. There you go. I look at Armoros, startled that he actually spoke, his voice soft, comforting. I love your hair, dude, for real. Oh no, Regardless, his phenomenal. His words sound practiced, rehearsed. Hmm. He looks nervous, like he'd rather be anywhere else but here. And his eyes keep darting to the door behind me. Bro, it's chill. Nothing at all. You're stationed right behind, beside the graveyard where the last hunter's body was discovered. And you hate hunters, and you think we're all a plight on the earth. earth. You're telling me you didn't hear the thing? Plight on the hearth. He was brutally earth. murdered. <laughs> we just keep going. Okay, yeah, sorry. Seemingly set alight and burned to ash, and yet he didn't scream or call for help? I find that hard to believe. They have an alibi. That's what he said. Aurora's lips curl at the corner, her eyes dark. Armoros has, like, no eyelashes. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. I, 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 that that's what I stuck on. Well, they're probably pale. My brother speaks the truth, Hunter Robin. Question us all you like, but we've been through this with your insufferable predecessor. Piper's not insufferable. Just as Harry said, they apparently haven't. The, they're talking about Piper, I guess. Yeah, Piper's not insufferable. Nothing about Piper's insufferable. Just as Harry said, they apparently have an like ironclad <laughs> alibi, but my suspicion does not waver. <laughs> they, <laughs> what? Um, Sorry. Aurora and Piper talking are definitely that, um, that meme. Um... You know the one where it's like, 
Um, I would challenge you to a battle of wits, but it appears you have come unarmed. <laughs> and then Piper says, your ball sucked me good and hard through my joints. <laughs> I might have to cut that out. That's a hundred percent. I don't know if we can true. say that on YouTube, but it's really you, can put, you can just put the meme on the screen That's their so that everybody right. knows what you're talking about. Everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's okay. <laughs> just as Harry said, they apparently have an ironclad alibi. My suspicion does not waver. They haven't told me their alibi yet. I wouldn't call it ironclad. I nod once, noticing Armorous' gaze burning into me, and though I cannot gauge how he's feeling, my gut tells me he has something to say. Ooh, we gotta get him alone! We gotta get him alone! Something he cannot with his sister by his side. You know where to find me, dude. To tavern. You already know. Like, he's scared. Bird, you gotta come to the- Can you imagine Armorous in the tavern? Oh my god, he would cry. <laughs> he I feel like Harry dead. sent me- I feel like Harry sent me here just to unnerve me. Surely he knew this is what I would be faced with. I still have little to nothing to work with here, and as the twins continue to stare me down, I think about his parting words. Which I have forgotten in real life. I suspect everyone, question everything. <laughs> See? <laughs> no, they're gonna remind you. They know what they're doing. You truly have nothing else <laughs> to you, say? Thank you, Chris! Thank <laughs> Chris! Aurora stands firm, straightening straight, her lips curling into that wolfish grin once more. There you Not go. a thing, dear Hunter. It was ever so wonderful to make your acquaintance, though. Truly. <laughs> Do stop by again, all right? We're more than happy to accommodate you should your agent seem to question us for a third time. Oh, I'm coming back. Come back ten times. Armoros gives me a look again, and I wonder if it would be possible to somehow get him alone. <laughs> hey, Aurora, can I talk to your brother? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Aurora, do you mind, uh, I would really like a cup of tea. Could you just, like, run off to the church kitchen and, uh, church kitchen. I have a feeling I'd get a lot more out of him than It's I just have like a her. ye old electric kettle. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Aurora, Armoros. Piss off. Okay. On my way out, I see a small, neatly wrapped package sitting on the doorstep. Oh boy, let's steal some mail. I bend down to check the label and written We're gonna do a crime. Script. I'm I'm ready to do a crime. Our crime oh my god, does Armoros have a suitor? We are tampering with it. Let's continue. We're keep good. Keep staying. Keep. Yeah. I will. What if I just said no? <laughs> <laughs> and you could suddenly like, not see here. anything on my screen. Um, I bend down to check the label and written on it in an elegant script are the words Zess Hewa and Armoros' name paired with a small heart. Somebody's got a crush on Armoros? It's from me. It's from you. Not my character, it's from me. I, I left it there. <laughs> Sarah is in the middle of <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I may not know what it means, but I know a demonic language when I see one. Oh! Just as I suspected, there might be a lot more to Armoros than meets the eye. I still like that it says a demonic language, because my interpretation, or my understanding, is that there are multiple demonic languages. There's seven demonic languages. One for each circle. You think? I, I don't know, I just said that. I mean, like, I would- I would- you're the literature major. I would I would just like accept it. I, I'm not if the you said that like I know major. it's not necessarily the <laughs> Well, I assume you'll read like Dante's Inferno and like stuff like that. Yeah, snippets of it. It's um, boring. Paradise Lost, all that crap. Yeah, all that shit.